In our previous episode, we discussed the potentiality of Beit ul Mamur being a supermassive black hole. Now, let's turn our attention to Sidrat al Muntaha, the Sidr tree. During his night journey, the Prophet traversed beyond Beit ul Mamur to reach this tree. As per Quran 53, the Sidr tree of the boundary lies by the Garden of the Paradise. The tree was concealed by something so ineffable it defies description. Some hadith suggest it was veiled in light and brilliance, while others propose it was cloaked with golden angels and butterflies. But what could the cedar tree signify? Let's delve into the scientific realm, where Einstein's theory of relativity theoretically predicted the existence of black holes. The same theory also suggests the existence of white holes, the inverse of black holes from which energy matter, light and information can escape. Also, science suggests that a black hole could be connected to a white hole through an Einstein-Rosen bridge and all information entering the black hole is exiting through the white hole. Does this image remind you of the Siddha tree? Could it be possible that the Prophet used the tree as a metaphor to explain this complex scientific theory? Could the tree be an Einstein-Rosen bridge connecting a black hole to a white hole? Is it mere coincidence? or a profound revelation.